Hello. As I was investigating how, how is the best way to implement uh, a round LCD display GUI for in-car display that is based around ESP32, I stumbled across uh, this, this website. This is basically light and versatile graphics library that is for first open source and and if you are using in a non-commercial it's it's free uh, this should be, this can be maybe the great option for my use case uh, because i want to implement on the uh, round lcd uh, display that is controlled by esp32 so maybe something like this is a good option for me uh, there is a couple of interactive demos which i could try to use and uh, uh, there is uh, there should be example with round display as well we have here the name that is actually used with ESP32, so that is a good sign for me as well. And the uh, best sign is that they are actually the partners with Espressive, Arduino and a bunch of others, but these two for my use case are most important. So now I would basically just like to uh, start with this and see how fast I can, I can make this work. So, as you know from the previous videos, I already have this uh, kind of uh, LCD display setup with my custom board that is uh, that is based around ESP32 S2 and simple connection to this round display. So, now let's let me try to get this to work. And now if we check uh, the interactive demos, which are online, I found a couple of things that are that are that can be good for me, especially for example this e-bike UI, because here we have some kind of display about the speed and uh, battery, so that can be maybe incorporated to something like this. Of course, a smartwatch I think is great solution for, for me as well. So because round display and have a lot of information here, so maybe we can use so maybe we can use uh, this display actually just to revert it to RPM and show engine RPM or something like that. And yeah, this one is as well, this thermostat. Uh, thermostat uh, RPM, it's also round, if we can make it work on, on a round LCD display, it could be great. So from now on I think this, this is promising. The other important thing that can be uh, checked out here is actual license and it's actually under MIT license and this can mean that we can use this even in commercial projects. Actually we can use this LVGL uh, GL library. So let's go for a drone. We can see that there are a couple of circular examples that we can use. So maybe even this simple meter or meter with uh, multiple multiple values. So and we can have uh, have a quick look at the GitHub code for that one and go on. And now we can focus on this uh, platform section and then just check for our use platform. So we will not like to simulate on PC because we have our uh, setup already connected. So we would like to use ESP32 uh, chip series. But because I would like to program ESP32 with uh, Arduino framework using platform IO, maybe the best way for me is to check uh, Arduino section.
So in order to make it work, we need to install this library. So let's install it. And now if we check uh, our setup for our developer port, we have ESP32S to native USB with everything already set up. And now we can simply go to the examples, scroll down to uh, our library examples that we just installed and let's take a look what we have here. So if we, if we go to GUI widgets and if we just open for example maybe meters, unlock meter, we can try that or maybe let's try simple some kind of clock if we have it. Let's try GUI widgets, uh, meters, unlock meter. Okay, and here we have our our logic. So here I don't see any any configuration for for our actually uh, LCD uh, display and defining the pins that we are using and so on. But here there is a note that we actually we should. To every of this inside user setup.h. So let's find that file. And if we go inside the Arduino libraries and our library, we can see here that we have this user setup.h file and user setup.select.h. So let's open both of them. So let's stick to the instructions and let's just modify this uh, user.setup.h. And if I open my older, older post regarding uh, learning uh, learn with ChatGPT around LCD display, here I have already configured the setup that, that is working for this display. So I would just copy and paste this setup and see if it really works. So, here I have this part and this part is what I need and I would like to see is this part now available inside, inside uh, user setup.h. So here I would uh, disable this driver and I will uncomment the specific one that I have and that is this one. Uh, click on save then continue okay now we are coming to section 2 where we should uh, where we need to define uh, pins that will be used for this kind of interfaces and we have our description here so we now need to map basically this one to here so I see that this is uh, uncommented but I'm not using node MCU so I will comment those three lines and then go below so we're not using this one uh, we are using ESP32 development board not with this driver yeah here so I think that we need to define here what we need So let's just leave this comment out. Save, so this should be okay. We are not using parallel setup, so we can skip this as well. Define bonds. Optional, so let's save this. Let's save it. Let's go to our 
uh, to our analog meter and let's try to compile and download this. So let's select correct port. Our ESP32 is in our program, uh, programming mode, so yes, and let's try to verify and upload this. And we have an error that uh, TFT EV is missing, so let's try to get that. So here, so we can download this one as well. Okay, let's check if we have it installed. We have. Okay, so it should be here. Let's try to compile it one more time. Okay, and now we can uh, reset our device. And we have our meter working. Stay tuned for the part 2 and take care.